Game Ranks presents the 10 best free iOS and Android games of May 2016. There's a lot of fun mobile games out there and you don't want to pay a dime, so we're here for you. Starting off with number 10. Bejeweled Stars has a basic premise. It's a new Bejeweled game. There's more effects, different ways to match, sound effects, surprises, explosions, and different challenges, and even the ability to control some of the board yourself. But basically what you're getting here is a new ramped up Bejeweled game. And at number 9, we have Battleborn Tap. This accessory to the main Battleborn game is a simple tap and play RPG style thing. It's a companion to the main game, and although it might not be the most exciting for some people, there's actually a lot to do here. You can unlock and hire different heroes, and then you can command them around. You collect loot from waves of enemies. There's upgrade trees for your characters, and there's in game achievements. Not to mention the fact that you can unlock exclusive rewards for the actual physical Battleborn game on consoles and PC. So if that is a thing you're into and you are playing Battleborn on console, maybe you want to pop into this. It's free and it'll get you some extra stuff in the main game. It's pretty addictive and light and very much focused on just clicking and tapping things like Adventure Capitalist. So hopefully now you know what you're getting into. And at number 8 we have L's Evolution. This is basically the mobile version of the anime focused JRPG that some people have played. You take on wave based enemies while upgrading your skill tree, abilities, and gear. As much as I said it's a JRPG style, it is very much a beat em up side scrolling game. And although that sounds really simple, the RPG elements really give you that oomph to sink your teeth into. It's all PvE combat, but you can join clans and engage in weekly interactions and challenges. It's not perfect and it's not amazing, but it is satisfying in short bursts. And at number seven, we have Olympus Rising, the top-down strategy-based MMO style game set in the Greek mythology universe. So here you build, upgrade, and command big armies and use them to conquer other areas and other players. The cool thing here though is that you can collect legendary heroes like Zeus and you can upgrade them and make them more badass. Yes, this is definitely one of those games. If you like planning out battles and managing your resources, Olympus Rising might be your thing. While it's cool building up your empire, it's very apparent that this is very free to play and sometimes the threat hold for resources needed are a bit too high, but otherwise this game is pretty satisfying, not to mention the fact that graphically it looks really cool. And at number 6 we have Phantom of the Kill, a game we put on this list uh, mostly because of its freaking badass name. But what this really is is a top down tactical RPG with some signature Japanese anime style. While at first glance it might not look that exciting, this game is completely 100% strategy based with over 50 different unit classes to place on the battlefield. You're in charge of managing your little party of cool characters and outfitting them with different weapons. It feels a little bit like a very simple kind of watered down fire emblem which if you think about it isn't that bad for a mobile game. So if you want something like Fire Emblem that's a little more quick and accessible and easy to pick up in short bursts, maybe Phantom of the Kill might be your thing. And at number 5 we have Hungry Shark World. I don't know if you guys have ever played a shark game on mobile before, but Hungry Shark World has the same basic premise. You swim across the screen as a shark and you have to eat everything in sight and survive. Surprisingly though, Hungry Shark World actually amps things up. There's 17 different sharks that you can play as, and you can level up all these sharks and then play within 3 different actual free roaming environments. There's a bunch of different missions and there's a lot of actual game to play here, which is pretty surprising considering the really simple premise. The free to play stuff here is basically buying in-game currency to upgrade your little character shark faster, but other than that you're getting a straight up game here, not to mention the fact that it looks pretty damn awesome, with a very cool art style and graphics that actually keep up with it. And at number 4 we have Leap Day, a fast paced action platformer. The reason Leap Day earned a good spot on this list and the reason why it's worth mentioning is that it's a good little platformer but the most important thing here is that it gets updated with a new level every single day. Yes, every day the developers upload a new level with completely different enemy types, environments, traps and things to jump over and it's up to you to beat your personal bests and get higher on the leaderboard. While one level a day doesn't sound like a lot and might not be satisfying to some people who want to just keep playing more and more. For those who just hop on their phone and play a level real quick, it's nice to know that there's just content waiting for you every single day. But I definitely think this one level every day is a concept definitely worth trying. And at number 3 we have Bushido Bear. Bushido Bear is by the developer Spry Fox. They made Alpha Bear. I don't know if you guys played Alpha Bear, but it was a really awesome word puzzler game with cute cool little bears. And this time around it seems like they tried to do something completely different with Bushido Bear because it's completely action based. It's wave based and you gotta hack slash and swipe your way through a bunch of enemies. Visually it looks really cool and thanks to the good production values and overall development, it feels good. Combat feels satisfying. There's always a good sense of progression because you're constantly upgrading new 
new bear characters and a bunch of different weapons. The progression here feels really great because you're constantly unlocking new bear characters that have different abilities. Some can teleport, some are really small, some are more like tanks, and it's just a satisfying cutesy little experience. And at number two, we have Mechorama. Mechorama is a 3D puzzle diorama style game. You've probably played some of these before. It's kind of like a simple version of Fez, and it's kind of like Monument Valley on mobile, which you may have already played. The whole premise here is really simple, and that translates over to the design and the atmosphere and the graphics and the sound effects. Everything is really just kind of relaxing here and very chill. There's some extra stuff here like collectible level cards, but there's something more interesting is that you can actually make your own levels. It's fun, it's all brick based. It actually feels a little bit like Minecraft. Mechorama is completely free and doesn't really have much bullshit to it. It's simple and you might like it. And at number one we have Vos, a very unconventional choice, but people are really loving it and it is very addictive. Vos is an anime styled rhythm based game. It's also kind of hard to explain because it's so simple, but then there's all these little story aspects to it. It's about high school teenagers and friendship and forming a band and following their dreams, uh, but whatever. But actually playing it and the rhythm based gameplay, it's a lot of fun. Not to mention the fact that the developers are always updating the game with more challenges, new songs. And that's a good thing because it has one of the biggest collections of music within one of these styles of games. It can get really challenging and really difficult, and even if you've never played a game like this, maybe it's worth giving a shot. So guys, those are the 10 best free iOS and Android games of May 2016, but we also have some bonus games including Skylanders Battlecast, Uncharted Fortune Hunter, and Cruise Control. These are the games that we think are worth playing this month, but also that you don't have to pay for. Let us know in the comments anything you want about any of these games or any other games you're playing on your phones because we're always making lists for mobile games. And be sure to like this video if we helped you find a new game. If this is your first time coming around here though, subscribing is a good idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.